feel what I'm saying? Get what you come for. Hallelujah. God is doing a new thing. Hallelujah. And I don't know about you, but I'm desperate for him. I'm desperate for him.
Oh, 
soul's gonna hold oh.
is this love that you worship? Is this love that you continue to worship? to the flesh. We see God as one dimensional in this city. That the only way deliverance and healing and all that can take place is if somebody takes their hand and put it on another. But we have shifted already to the moment where God himself touches his people so that frees us just to worship. Now, I want you to catch what your pastor said. Hallelujah. He said, to my staff, I want you all to just worship. Yeah. Why? Because it is a picture of where we're going that yeah. Yeah. we're ceasing from our own labor. Yeah. And he will do the healing and the touching yeah. and all of that. Yes, God. Yes, God. Now, yes, God. Yes, God. we believe that the Lord is in this room. Yeah. And he is. Yes, yes, and whatever we can believe for it will be done in this moment. There is an open heaven over this place and the, even the natural has confirmed it today. So now, my sister, I ask you to lift your hands and I am not going to touch you because I just heard the Lord say more and we just say, Lord, Confirm your word as you have said and release more upon my sister. In Jesus' name, we just save more. I prophesy to the wind. positioned you in worship to receive. God says, more, daughter, for I desire to have you live in the overflow. Jesus. 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 Jesus is flowing. 
and every limitation that has been placed upon you in the past by man, those limits are broken now because it is fighting against the word of the Lord right now. And we declare that everything that has risen against the knowledge of God is now destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. He sent forth his word, and it shall be so in the name of Jesus. And we say, yes. And the Lord is even breaking off the slacks off of you. Because they've been on there too long. Slacks are put on a building until the building, until the foundation is able to hold itself. But God says, you're way overdue. He's moving the slacks off of you now. So you're going to feel something in your legs in just a few moments because the Lord is breaking the slacks off of you. So that you can find the ball. You can do the walk in the supernatural, but you really can't. So in the name of Jesus, we declare the slacks broken. Thank you, Lord. 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 Because see, even the times that you have had pains in your legs and your knees is because of the, sh the, the slacks. There are times you've had like shooting pains in the knee area. It's because of the slacks. And the Father is saying, I'm breaking the slacks because he's setting you free to walk. But also, there should be freedom and healing that those shooting pains will no longer be there. Now, in the name of the Lord, I just want you to just begin just to walk because it is a prophetic sign that you're walking in the supernatural. So you don't need the slacks anymore. You don't need the slacks anymore. It was man that told you that you weren't ready yet, but the father says, just one minute. says to this house, are you ready for the clusters of grapes? Hallelujah. Jesus, um, uh, the Bible says in uh, Numbers chapter 13, you can have a seat. The Bible says in Numbers chapter 13, uh, we're, we're, we're still in the flow, don't worry. Um, that, that Moses sent Moses sent spies over to spy out the land. And uh, he said, bring back Clusters of grape. Bring back, in other words, the proof or the evidence of what God has been saying all along. Uh -huh. So they got over there and they grabbed figs and they grabbed the clusters of grapes in this valley called Ishkal, which means cluster. And so the Bible says, get this now, the Bible said that this thing was huge and it took two dudes carrying one pole to bring back the cluster of grapes. Now, now think about how huge that is. Huge clusters of grace. Many clusters of grace. And so the prophetic word for you all is that the Father is saying that in this season, because it's not the season to come because you're already here. This season that you're in right now, that uh, the Father is saying that in your valley, you are to receive and grab hold of the clusters of the grapes. And the reason why he sent you here, here's the prophetic word. The reason why he sent you here was because uh, you need help with this um, cluster that is coming to your house. You need help to bring it in. You need help to bring in the overflow. You need help to bring in uh, the much, the more, the abundance that God has already telling me for you. Hallelujah. Just sink in for a minute. 
Because you know what? Sometimes, I believe, sometimes we have been we have been in a place where we're going through the heat, we're going through the uh the, the, the scorching of the heat and the rain, and, and we're like, David, God, you made our enemies ride over us and, and all of that, and, and I've been just trampled on, and so much have happened that we have even lost our faith. That we can be right in the middle of our answer and still miss it. <laughs> We, we could be right in the valley and we're so focused on the shadow of death. Uh, it's all right. We're so focused on the shadow of death that we miss the cluster of grapes that's in the valley. This is why he said, though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, thank you, you shall fear no evil. For I am with you. My rod and my staff shall come to you. Watch this. All you need to do now, while you are harvesting the cluster, God says, my staff, my rod is comforting you while you are oh God, hope you hear me. So you won't have to focus on the shadow of death because it's just a shadow. Say it's just a shadow. It's not the real thing. So God is removing, hear me prophetically, God is removing now. He's removing the distractions right. while you are harvesting. God is removing, he's removing now, the distractions yes. while you're harvesting. Yes. Okay. So, okay, I, I definitely need some help here. Yeah. Come here, daughter. Come here. Come here. I told you I was pick on you. I told you I was pick you. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so I just want you all to just stand that way. Face, face them. Just turn face them. So, and just uh, stand like uh, arm to arm. I'll show them the show. I'm sorry. So, here is God's rod and God's staff. <laughs> so, while you're harvesting, yeah. Get in the cluster of grapes. You don't have to worry about what's behind you. Oh, don't that look like the armor? Because the armor is is is, 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 is the, the, the back is not covered with armor. But the back is covered. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. The armor, I got the armor on, but my back is not covered. Okay. <laughs> With natural things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is covered by the rod and the staff. So while I am harvesting, I don't have to keep looking. See, see, that's the season that we were in. We kept looking behind us, and we have been in, been in, in, in environments that have called and taught us to be schizophrenic. That we're just always thinking somebody on, is behind man. us. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm just one of those passes. We, we have been in those moments where we, we, we say, Michael, I always feel like somebody watching me. me. Ha -ha! Uh, yeah. But God has yeah. shifted you from that. Yeah. And he says, you don't have to worry about what is behind you Ooh, so you can focus on because, here we go, I'm all over the Bible. Yeah. Because God says, go when you leave out of your exodus, yeah. you Come leave on. now loaded. So you can't be distracted, yeah. missing yeah. what he has for you. Yeah. Because you're trying to fight. Yeah. You can't fight what is in front of you or behind you while you're trying to get So really the reality of it is the enemy is trying to distract you. Yeah. So you won't get it all. Oh, come on. Yeah. Come on. Oh, you, God okay. wants you to take it all. Oh, oh, God. God. Oh, God. You are destined to get it all. Oh, yes. And the shadow of death is only to distract you from getting it oh, all. Oh, God, shall we pursue? Shall we overtake? Shall we recover all? God says, pursue, yes. overtake, and recover all. And so the Father's saying now, my rod Jesus. and my staff is comforting you, yes. protecting you in the season of harvest, yeah. in the season of the gathering of the cluster of grace. That's where we are. 
So I told your pastor that um, this is the season that um, if we are in the springtime, although we're in the winter. Okay. <laughs> it's springtime for you in the winter. Yeah. The natural is confirming yes, it is. the word of the Lord. Yes, yes, yes. 60 degrees. <laughs> Loaded rain. Pour, downpour of rain. Jesus. We wow. couldn't even leave the house yet because the wind, and I told my wife, it looked like it's a tornado. Amen. In the winter, usually we should be seeing snow. We should yeah. be... <laughs> Make sure we don't slip on the ice. It's 75. It's 75. Thank you. God is sending us yes, he is. the manifestation. Now, now watch this now. Don't get tired. God, God is sending us coming because we were on the highway. And while we were driving, there was a huge rainbow on the road. Every time the cars were going, rain, the water was kicking up, and you see this flash of the rainbow. And the Lord said to me very quickly, he said, my promises have manifested. Right. That's the reason why he said today, whatever you can believe, right. you can have it today. Oh God, we are in the valley, so all we need to do is grab it because the promises have manifested. They're here. Hallelujah, hallelujah. They're here. So, so now, now, now I said, I said that God is sending, brought us together because we need help to grab the clusters of grapes. Let me shift prophetically because that word is specifically for you, my sister. The Lord brought you here because they need help to gather the grapes. But God said the grapes that are for you, the clusters, you're going to need everybody's help here to help you bring that thing in. Oh God, oh God. Oh God, oh God. He brought you to this valley so that you can grab the clusters that are already preserved with your name on it. So God says, listen, you know, listen, listen, listen. I'm not just going to just take you there, bring you here, but I'm going to have some people already set up. Listen, look at the timing of God. We sung about that now. Look at the timing of God now. Now, you all started the ministry now. It was October the 20th, correct? Was yeah, it October the 20th? It was October 6th when I first day here. Here. Okay. So now, you see here, God already got you all in position so that she can enter in. Uh-huh. Watch now. Watch, watch. God will always have everything set up in place. All right. So all you need to do is just show up. It will be there. Ah. Ah. <laughs> And so the Lord says that this is a picture for you, my sister, that everything is already telling me. I see a table already prepared, napkins, forks, knives, already set up, crystal glasses, already filled. And all you need to do is just sit there and just receive. And the Lord says, I brought you here so you can rest and receive. R&R, &R, rest and receive. And receive, oh God, oh God, oh God. This is your time of harvest. God brought you here to rest and receive. This is your harvest time. No, 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 listen now. This is a time that will not end. Because there's much to harvest. And the much that you have sacrificed and said, even you told your babies, come on, we just want to believe God. There is a day coming. Let me pronounce you that the day is today. And everything that was in your heart for them, they should receive because it's already been prepared for. Already still. So all they need to do is just walk in it. Come on. all over the place. I hear the scripture. He prepares the table before you in the presence of your enemies. Here's the mystery in that. This is for you too. 
The Lord says, um, the reason why that uh, it hadn't shown up, it was not just because of the season, but I had to wait for your enemies to be present. As a matter of fact, the Lord says, I beckoned your enemies to come so they can see that I have called you to. See that I have put my name on you to. <laughs> for there has been a fighting, a warring, that has interrupted your time of joy. <laughs> but the Spirit of Almighty God says, Today, I have commanded the enemy to give back to you the time of joy that belonged to you that was interrupted by foolishness. Because you two have spent so much time putting out fires that had nothing to do with you. Mm, you. Once you have, I see you all, as soon as you get that one step to start anew, somebody's pulling you, wait, 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 we need you, hold on, we need you, wait, wait, hold on. don't leave me, wait, because <laughs> some of the tears that you have seen from others was manipulation. Ah. There was not tears of, oh, we go, we go, miss you, please. Don't leave us now. Why you gotta leave us now? We need you now. It was manipulation. <laughs> Only to hold you back to distract you from your clusters of grace. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. Can I say this to him? Come on, come on. <laughs> because I don't know where you are. And I don't know your situation, but I, I say this because this is the season that God is saying. Let me back this up with scripture. The Lord says in Deuteronomy, he says, I will give you large and beautiful cities, okay, houses that you did not feel, right? Houses, vine, uh, vineyards, wells you didn't need, right? Okay, all right. Okay, so the Lord says it was a distraction to stop you from getting to your house that belongs to you. Jesus. Mm. Bless God. I don't know where you are, but the delay had nothing to do with God. It was interference by those who have aligned themselves with the agenda of hell to stop you from getting to your cluster of grapes. But Jesus says, there has been a sound that has gone forth in this house today. The worship, because the worship just literally not only shifted things, but it removed things. Some things. How can we get cancers out? Because some things only come out by prayer and fasting, right? Okay. But some things that just, you know, you just can't, you know, it just can't happen a certain way. See, we got to get used to and uh, understand that uh, not expecting things to happen a certain way. Yes. Sometimes you just have to flow with the Spirit of God yes. because yes. some things you got to deal with differently. Yes. So the Lord says, your worship did this today because while you were praying, you were praying and interceding and all of that, God says, your prayer was great, but I needed a host. I needed a company of witnesses to join your prayer in worship. So y'all didn't even know it, but you didn't even just have to hurt to remove that demon out of the way. So now God says, I don't get you at home. Because it's already telling me for you. Don't look at what you have because God said, no, this is one that's on me. This one is on me. I know we need to be figured. Just, just don't know the numbers don't act right. We got to do this. We got to do this. We got to do this. We don't know that. I know you said, baby, no, no, we got to do this. We did it. And God said, wait. Wait a minute. It's on me. This one is on me because I know the blacksmith. I know the one that forged the weapon. Come on, man. And if he crossed that line, you have the right to say there is no weapon formed against you that should prosper. 
And we declare that every tongue, every manipulation that was rising up yes. against you to hinder you yes. from walking into your house is now declared wrong. It is the season for you to walk in. It is the season for you to move forward. It is the season for you to move and go into what God has for you. The cards of the heaven are cut. You guys are free. Just lift your hands. In the name of Jesus, we declare the freedom of God to move in the things of God. And God, I ask you for the increase on the job that is necessary to maintain the home. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. You have said, many have rolled over my head. Many have got ahead. I put my name in for them. Many have just jumped over me. But God says, no. The Lord says, let me remind you that the first shall be last. And the last shall be first. And the hand of the Lord now is pulling you to the front of the line. I just see a document, I see paperwork, and I just see that paperwork being brought to the front. I just see a window guy blowing papers off a desk, and just as they're gathering up, I see your name on the document right on front. So Lord, I just decree and declare, increase for the house. Because there is a creativity in you <laughs> that you're already flowing but has not been recognized. But the Lord says, you have faith with me and now I am causing man to have favor with you. You to have favor with man. I just see their eyes being shifted from another to you. All because of this moment in worship. My goodness. So in the name of Jesus, the Lord says, go back now and prepare. Because I see you already prepared. I see you already yeah. down to like the way you were dressed and everything. I see you like preparing you all the way down yeah. to that point. God says, go back and get your net because you're going to throw it out again yeah. because this catch is going to be great. Yeah. So we decree and declare this day in Jesus' name that it is so and it is done. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. So. Excitement. I understand the excitement because God, God is doing a fresh thing right now, and the Lord says no man can touch it. <laughs> you know how sometimes we get started and things just get to moving and everything, and all of a sudden something just like. Pfft. God says man will not touch this. Man will not take his hand and put his hand to stop the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> The, 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 the momentum, that's what it is. It's the momentum will not be stopped by the hand of man. I don't care how much the religious don't like what's happening right now. The momentum will not be stopped. It says the spirit of Almighty God. And he says that to you, sir. The momentum will not be stopped. By me. There is an authority that's on you that you carry that is very noticeable. That when you walk into the room, the Lord says, even the demons say, oh, he's there. We need to leave for like about 10 minutes. But the Lord says, this time, they're not coming back. For you shall go in and release the prophetic word to give the people a choice. And it's the same anointing that's on Elijah that said, he, when he said, you cannot, we choose this day. How long will you fall to between two opinions? You are going to the places where you will cause people to make a decision. 
And based upon the decision, God says, I will release my deciding. Now, let me press pause real quick. Because the judgment of God, we gotta, we gotta get this now. We gotta get this. The judgment of God is only God's deciding. It's his verdict. God is a righteous judge, yes? Yes. Okay. So when we talk about the judgments of God, it's really God's deciding. It's his verdicts. Okay? So anytime you see that, now watch this out. God only responds or releases his verdicts based upon what we say. Uh-huh. What you choose. Choose you to say who you will serve. serve. And based upon that, God says, based upon that, I will make my decision. So the Father said, I'm going, I'm, I'm sending you in so that you will call the people to make a decision. What are they going to do? And based upon their decision, that is the verdict that will be released. So now the Lord says, this is not limited to churches, for I even send you even in the marketplace to cause them to make a decision. And there are those in the marketplace, they will avoid, ah, thank you, Lord, this flood is about to hit businesses. God says, if they listen, they will not go bankrupt. If they listen, they will not lose their company if they listen. If they listen. And so the Spirit of the Lord says, says that uh, 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 these ones shall come back to you and say, oh, thank you. Because of what you said, yes. it saved my life. Ooh, hear me, you, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. Pharaoh is looking for somebody to interpret the dream. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Joseph. Glory, glory. And somebody is next to Pharaoh saying, I know a man. There's somebody right now that's vouching for you because the Lord says, your gift will make room for you and bring you before King. And he said, I didn't just leave my house. I'm in everywhere. The Lord says, prepare now, for I'm sending you to kings to cause them to make the decision. Thank you. <laughs> and you will have access. I see you going in and out, in and out, in and out of these places because they will hear your word and say, please tell us more. What is, watch this, your God saying? See, please don't tell me that it's not possible because there is a returning to the voice of the Lord because the Lord says that, thank you, Lord. The Lord says that if 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 my people in the house won't listen, then I will even cause those that are in the marketplace to have an ear to hear. <laughs> so there are some pharaohs in the land that will hear and say, well, what do we need to do? And God says, I'm sending you in. I'm sending you in. Now please lift your hands. Because the Lord gives you the mantle of Joseph. Not only to tell them how they need to store up and all of that. But the Lord says, even you shall set a new tone financially for your household, for your family, that should literally bulldoze whatever has happened in the previous generations. And I, I not just see this mantle hitting you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I, man, I saw it really. In the name of Jesus, Father, we decree and declare right now that the mantle of Joseph don't just drop on him, but hit him in Jesus' name. We say it now, now. in the name of Jesus. Now. 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 Say a word. That is the sound. 
Your very movement is talking. Ooh, thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. So let's receive my sound today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Now under the mantle of Joseph, I do see this, this, this label of warrior. You are a warrior, and the Lord says, in the days to come, you shall lead an army of young men. And they're in the weight room. That's why I see it. They're in the weight room. They're in the hood. They get buff, man. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord says that I'm, I'm going to use you to cause them to depend upon me for their strength. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Through you, the Lord says, you're going to teach them how to love their wives. Oh, all right. Come on. Come on. Sing it not strange that you run into, even I hear the word NFL players in a moment, and God says you're going to speak a word to them, and their careers are going to be saved because of the word of the Lord that's in your mouth. They're going to be in the waiting room. You're just going to just walk up on, man, hey, ain't that? But you're going to begin to see that Beyond all the flash, beyond all the bling, there's some trouble in the house. Yeah. Come on, come on. The grass is cut, the, the, the bushes are straight and all that, but on the inside of it, there are screams and yelling, please don't hit me no more. Please, please, I'm sorry. Please don't kick me no more. Please, please, please. And the Lord says, you shall release a word that shall bring deliverance to these men who really have encountered a learned behavior because they seen their daddy hit their mama and so they thought it was right and they thought that that's the only way they communicate and so the father is saying that you're going to speak a word to them and you're going to literally see grown men cry because of the word thank you father but we declare that this is your season right now in Jesus name come on bless the Lord from afar <laughs> and their wealth. And I just prophesy right now that even if if, if you and your, your kids left and they separated, you separate on bad terms, the Lord says that they are coming back now and they're coming under authority. They left in rebellion, but they're coming back under authority. 
Because even if it's something that you've never heard before, the Lord says, okay, go to the scripture. Oh, yeah, okay, that is the word. Okay, oh God, I can move on that. This is what he was talking about. We got to be careful how we step in this season. Even in divine going, even in being in places where God has sent you, you got to learn how to move with him and not out of what you think he's saying. Oh, oh, now. That's not ministry. Thank you, Jesus. We have to keep in step with Holy Spirit. Yes. <laughs> yes. If we, the Bible says, God, listen, if we keep in step with the Holy Spirit, we will not fulfill yes. the flesh. Yes. Come on, man. We will not give it license to operate in yes. our lives right. if we just keep in step with Holy Spirit. Yes. So if Holy Spirit is doing this, we're not doing this. Yes. Right. Just bring it up, just bring, just making it practical now. Uh -huh. Because success is in following what He's saying. Yes. Stop. <coughs> okay, go. Come on. Come on. Stop. Whoa. Wait a minute. Sometimes we come to the stop and we keep going. Hallelujah. Oh God. The Lord, the Lord, I don't know why I'm saying all this. The Lord is saying that many of us have come to stop signs and we just kept going. Come on. And in the spirit, <laughs> they're, they're like tickets are piling up in the spirit because we're going to run in. stop signs. Yes. When the Holy Spirit says, stop. We have to learn how to effectively minister even in this hour. Because although we can, I tell my leaders this all the time, although we see some things, although we sense some things, we have to learn the timing okay. of God. Now. Watch this. And even the tone of God. All right. Come on now. Say that. Say that. Because sometimes we've given words and we tell people, God says get right. Watch this now. Really, when God was saying, listen, you need to get right. Right. Come on. Come on. So we give the right word the with the wrong tone. Uh-huh. Yeah. Come on, sir. So we have to be, we have to be really, we have to be really, really, really keen with the Spirit of God in that because we can jack some things up if we don't follow the timing and the tone of God. And I feel like God is really saying it because you're going somewhere. Yeah. You're moving. You're going to go in other places. You're gonna, and you got to get this now. you got to get this. You may see uh, Sally Sue uh, with a demon on her, but that don't mean you jump on your horse and go deal with it. Come on now. Amen. 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 That's moving in the flesh. Wow. Remember what happened with the sons of Stephen. Yeah. They got jacked up because, oh, oh yeah, we can do that. Now this is not to bring fear, this is bringing wisdom in operating the kingdom. Yes. I'm telling you, we get so geeked up about deliverance, come on, we gotta go. I see it. Come on, we gonna get him. <laughs> no. What did the Lord say? What did he say? What did he say? Well, God, we gotta move now. Because if we don't move, then they don't get delivered. Come Who on. is God? Joe, where were you when I formed the world? Come on, the now. foundation. That's all I'm saying. And that's the that's the question. You know, that's where 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 were you? Oh, Jesus. And we just got through saying a few minutes ago, God you're holy. You reign, God. You're a ruler. But then we start moving in ministry. I got this, God. No, no, no. That's a demon. I see it. You see it. I'm going to roll with it. And we get our butt kicked. Yes, sir, Doc. Well, they ain't ready. They ain't ready. You can see that in the prophetic. Yeah. We get prophetic words. Yeah. Well, they just ain't ready to receive. No, it's you. You moving out of time. Come on, now. <laughs> Come on, Sam. 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 Come on, Come on, Sam. Come on, 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 Come on,
people walked away mad. Why are they going to push me all over my head? Ah, say that. This is what's been going on in St. Louis. Get out! Get out! I said get out! Get out! That ain't God. It's one more time you said we're keeping it real. Who's <laughs> <I was> wrong? <laughs> No, 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 we, we don't, we, no, no. Father, Father, what am I, what, what am I sensing right now? Father, do you right. want me to lay hands on them? Exactly. No, okay, Father. Exactly. You want to do something different. Father, you, okay, Father, on the head? No, not the head, just take their hand. Okay. Exactly. See, 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 the Father already knows that some people, just bring it down. Some people, because of their maturity, uh, I can't say, please don't let this man touch my hair, touch my hair down. And I get, they already know. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Distractions. So God says, come on, listen, just follow me, just grab the hand. Yes, come on. So they'll be able to hear what's being said. And now, oh Lord Jesus, I just got this $40, $50, $70 hair jacking it up. Yeah. 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 That's it. Here we go. We are not God. He has given us the power, but it's His power. Now to Him who is able to do Him, His power, and see the abundance of all the rest of things, according to the power that is working within us. It is not our power, it's His power working to Him. I don't know why I'm here, but we're here. Not good. Watch where we are placing our hands in ministry. <laughs> My wife and I, we've seen the picture. <laughs> I got to deal with this. Uh, we, we've seen the picture. This lady lay on the floor, out, you know, the presence of the Lord. And whoever was praying over her took her hand and laid on the lady's private part, I guess calling herself delivering, speaking life, whatever. Can I tell you something? God is powerful enough to do whatever he needs to do in those private areas without you putting your hand. Yes. Yes. But God told me. No, 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 no. What? Let's go back to the word. See, we're doing things out of habit because we saw somebody else now realizing that that's not even the flow of the kingdom. There must be love even as we're moving in ministry. It cannot be about us. Oh, they got to hear me. Oh, they got to get this power. No, let's go back. It's God. It's God. Come on, just lay hands on it. It's God. It's God. It's God. It's all about Him. It's all about Him. It's not. How much time? I don't want to run. Okay. Be good. Okay. All right. I, I want to run on my time. So, Lord, so Lord is just, you know, I, please understand that God is doing things this moment. We're, you know, he's releasing prophetic things, but I see the Lord, he's, he's teaching as well. Come on, yes. sir. Yes, he is. I, I promise you, I didn't, yes, he is. I, I didn't plan to, you know, I really didn't even know that we were going to do. We didn't. We just showed up and said, hey, let's get together and worship today. Come on. But you're moving in the direction that God says, all right. Do you realize even in the word the Lord gave his children instructions? All right, now when you get there, right, this is what you need to do. Don't bow down to their gods because you're going to be around some other folks there that don't know me. You're going to be around some people that are going to be serving other gods, but don't, don't come don't come in connection. Don't 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 do the stuff that they doing. <laughs> let, let me just pause right there and just say that um, 
You need to adjust yourself even where God is taking you because your gift, as I gave this man the, the word, your gift is not just for the house. You have to be open to going into Starbucks and tell the lady behind the counter, the Lord says that he loves you. God is great to even give you influence in these places to where they say, please come. And is able to change your language that in the places where they don't really accept the name of Jesus, be able to articulate it where they're, they're doing the things of the kingdom. That's where we are. He wants us to broaden our minds. He wants us to break the limits off because sometimes we read the scripture, bro, it was like, well, you know, it's just for the house. No, 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 it's not just for the house because really the reality is God is trying to bless you, but then also on the flip side of it, there are people in these stores, in these marketplaces here, that are supposed to be in the house of the Lord, and they are the fishes, they are the harvest, and God is using you to go in and say, hey, come on! Let me show you where life is. Let me show you where you can live. Now you, now you direct them to Jesus, but, but God is using you to be fishers of me. To where? God's house is being filled. Not, not, not just about saying, hey, you know, this is how many we got, and this is how much the offer raised. But, but it's because it's time now, because the people need somewhere to stay alive. And, and let me just say that this is a house of comfort. This is a house of mercy. This is a house of safety. And I tell you right now that there is a flood that is happening right now. And the Lord says that the animals that represent the nations, read the book of Noah, uh, it is, uh, they're coming to Noah to stay alive. This is your Noah. They're coming. Going through the games, going through the doors, going through all the noise, and they're going to find noise, and you, this is where I need to stay alive. I prophesy to you. Don't get used to this place, says the Spirit of God. For you shall grow quickly. Amen. Because there are many that need to attach this house to stay alive. There is a flood that is happening right now to the religious church that is not just exposing but even destroying foundations. There are cracks in foundations even in this moment. And the Spirit of the Lord is saying that I release my flood. I said that the rain was coming. I said that the wind was coming. I said that the flood was coming. And the Lord says that the crash of it is exposing the foundation. It's exposing the foundation. So the people are going to have to have somewhere to go to stay alive. So the Spirit of the Lord says that I am sending... Yes. The people here to stay alive. Mm. Watch this now. There will be people that will even move here oh. to be here. Oh, God. <laughs> that word was prophesied a while back that there are people going to come here to the city, move here, start their businesses here because of the buzz that's happening in the city. And I'm saying for this house, the Lord says there are people that will be willing to move here because of the word and the worship that is going forth. Amen. There is a lightning that is in this ministry. I don't know if um, you all had a chance to see the banner that I made earlier this morning about this event, about this service, but if you notice that there was two wires coming together. Yeah. There's an electricity that is here. Now the Father is saying that it is the light have you noticed that whenever there's electricity or wire, something happens to wire, there's like huge sparks? Yeah. And the Lord says, they will see that from a distance. And they will come. They will come because of the power. <laughs> they will come because of the electricity. 
Now, I'm prophesying to somebody on the phone because you were waiting on a divine goal, and the Father said that this is your divine goal. Oh and God. the Lord says that if you just take the steps of Abraham and Sarah and just make that move, wow. I will show you the place, I will give you the place, and I will make space for you, says the Spirit of God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, 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 see, you, so, see, you understand now, God is, God is moving now, because watch, watch, this, watch, this. many of you, many of you, many people, many people are loaded, loaded with spiritual things, but they're in environments where they cannot release. All right, come on. So they're sitting in frustration, and you got pastors now uh, uh, interpreting that wrong, saying, well, you know, uh, you need to get with the vision, and you need to stop, you know, acting like, you know, uh, hey, something's wrong with you. You need to get in line. But really, the reality is you're frustrated because there's so much in you, and you don't have no place to empty yourself. So the Lord says, go ahead and bust that move so you can empty yourself because the only way you can get filled again if you can empty yourself. Every church should be a place where you can empty yourself because God wants to fill. Oh, there's that word again. Go get as many vessels as you can. And the oil did not stop, did not run out. Only when the vessel stopped coming. Here's the word. If you feel, then the oil stops. But as long as you keep emptying yourself, God keeps pouring. The, long, the, 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 minute, the reason why we keep worshiping, because God is feeling, and then we leave out of here, we empty ourselves. We, we, we go pray, pray for people. We speak a life. We, you know, pray and intercede. And then we come back to get filled once again. God says, I will keep pouring in this house. Now, I hear this for financially. God says, if you keep giving, I'll keep pouring. I'll pour this for this house. If you keep giving, I'm going to keep pouring. And don't get caught up with what you have. All right, come on. I don't care if you have, you're all right, because I don't care if you just have a penny. Do you realize there's a great harvest in that penny? Do you not understand? Oh, my God. God says it don't matter what you got. It don't matter what you got. God says if you keep giving, I'm going to keep pouring. And we have held back because the world you know, I don't have to Spirit of the living God said, I don't care what you have. Now, I didn't know that they were going there. I, I'm telling you, Holy Spirit just shifted because you are emptying yourselves so that the all won't stop. Watch this in your house. Yeah, yeah. Big Lord. Big Lord. God says, I'm going to keep pouring. And watch this now. You're going to have more than enough to take care of what you need to take care of. And you're going to have more than enough to live off of. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Listen. The abundance that God is saying that he is moving us to is, and we're here now, is that you have more than enough to take care of your house. And even greater to be able to help somebody else. Hallelujah. <laughs> See, that's Hallelujah. that's the evidence of him keep pouring. Hallelujah. God says, keep emptying yourself. Jesus. Oh God. Hallelujah. Oh God. Speak Lord. Speak Lord. Speak Lord. Don't stop your worship. Because he's pouring right now. Glory, glory, glory. You're not about shit, I'm talking about. <laughs> Don't stop preaching because he's pouring right now. You know, no, 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 no. Uh, there are more doors that have just opened up in this moment for you, says the Spirit of God, because you keep in that thing yourself. Glory, God. Hallelujah. I told you before, and I'll say it again. Thank you, Jesus. You need to get ready to pack your bags. 
Because some place you're going is not here in this area. Because God said, you keep emptying yourself and I got to keep pouring. And they're going to have to let you off from your job so that you can go do the thing that you need to do. Come on. Woo. Hear the word. Hear the word. More doors are just open even at this moment as you're sitting here because you keep emptying yourself. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Because whatever's on the head yes, flows to the body. Yes, and the Lord just opened up a door for me. Uh, and so shall happen to you as well, says the Spirit of God. Because whatever's on the head, it flows to the body. And it just happened that I was in a place. It just because I was giving the word. Somebody said, please come. And so shall it be for you, son, says the Spirit of God. Come on, bless the Lord. I'm telling you, something is happening by a divine alignment. The Lord says it's time for you to prepare because there are going to be days that you're going to be preaching in the house. Come on, God. Come on. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's on. It's on. Hallelujah. Daughter. It's good on too. The Lord says, I'm ready to use you in ministry. Get ready now. Oh my God. Oh glory. Oh glory. Yes, Lord. Oh glory. Yes, Lord. Oh glory. You know, I want you to hear me when I say this to you, man. Because some folks will get offended by this. But but you in the spirit you remind me of my mom in this way because the Lord is saying that. See, my mom would always go away, steal away to pray. She would come in to work, from work, and she would go in, and I'd the door, shh, 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 and she would go in and pray. She would go in, in, in secret and pray what I didn't even know. And I would ask her questions sometimes. Mom, can I take the car? I'll be right back. I need to go pray about that. <laughs> okay. She come, and she, it's so funny. She would come out of the room. Yes, I have peace about it. Go ahead and take the call. And, and I see that there's similarities. And the Lord says, <laughs> you're not crazy. Because many have looked at you like you're weird because they've asked you things. You said, well, no, no, I need to pray. I need to seek the Lord about that. But the Lord says, <laughs> the fruit and the evidence of that is manifesting today because they laugh then but they will see that because you stopped and saw my face oh God the fruit from that is manifesting from you just stopping and seeking the Lord Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the shifting that just happened, Father, in every area of her life that she's sitting there. Thank you for the shift, God. In the name of Thank you for the shift. And I don't know what all this means, but the Lord says, I have just gone back years and rectified things that have been like giants in your life. And the, the head has just been cut off. I don't know what all that means. Hallelujah. Your head, the head has just been cut off. Thank you, Jesus. And you shall go and get the heads now as oh, trophies. Glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, Hallelujah. Look what the Lord has Thank done. You, oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to your name, Father. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah.
have you don't have ten. I'm just using an example. Right. You see what I'm saying? Some of y'all just got woo Jesus. <laughs> A dugger. I'm not trying to be a dugger. The Lord says, the Lord says it has to be evidence. There must be proof. Whatever your highest bill is. Come on now. Huh? Ha ha! Woo! Look at that. I'm not shy. <laughs> to believe God in this moment because there must be evidence. God says, I'm starting with the head and I'm working my way down. Watch this now. He said, I'm starting with the largest bill and I'm working my way down. Come on. Because there must be evidence. You are not going into 14 in debt. You are going oh God, not in the negative. But you are going in 04, 014, 14, whatever. with loaded. Thank you, Lord. He said if we can believe him for it in this atmosphere, we'll be done. God says I'm able to knock it off. Oh God. Before you step into 14. Because my word is that you walk loaded. See, they gave, listen, they didn't leave out empty handed. They didn't leave out broke. <laughs> I just hear this in the spirit. The Lord says, I'm giving you your name back because, because some of you, uh, 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 your, your name has been jacked up due to creditors. Oh, and before this year ends, I'm even giving your name back. It will be as if it never happened, says the Spirit of God. I'm clearing your name out of the system, says the Spirit of Almighty God. And if the government won't cancel your student loans, I'll cancel it. Before 14. And this will be the greatest Thanksgiving that you have ever had. Now watch me. Watch me. The Lord says, be careful now because you keep thanking me. I'm just going to add more. Thank you, Jesus. Here's the scripture to back it up. The leverage. All here. One came back. Say it, thank you. Leprosy, watch this now, destroys the body. Missing finger, toes, thumbs, ears. When that dude came back and said, thank you, Jesus, he was already healed. He said, but you are made whole. Watch this now. Everything that the disease destroyed was now totally repaired and restored. So he got the ear back, got the toe back, got the finger back. So, so the father says that if you could just stay in the avenues of gratitude, there are great returns that are coming even now. I see them being in the process of flowing now to you. If you would just stay in the place of gratitude. Thank you, Lord. Whoa. Stay thankful. Woo, Jesus. Thank you for that. I know that would be Jesus. Thank you for that. Stay thankful. The more you thank him, the more is restored. The more you thank him, the more is restored. That's the prophetic word. That's the prophetic word. Because that's the restoration in the house. And God says, 
The more you thank me, the more is being restored. Oh God, oh God, oh God. The more is being restored. He, even in this moment right now, you don't know understand that because you're there here now, I see your lineage being restored right now all because of this generation in this room. heard a thing. And the Lord said, anyone that has been entangled with the spirit hearing of homosexuality in your house, God says, I am restoring them back into position and back into their assignment as if it never happened. Because you say thank you. Everything be restored. God is clearing up things in a moment. I'm telling you, we're going to leave from this place. And I feel that your phone is just going to be just blown up with testimonies because of what happened today. Oh my God. I just heard the Lord saying to you right now, just see it. Just see it. See them restored. There's somebody, that family member, that has cancer, and the Lord said it just fell off right now.
And I see him doing it now. So, so the anointing is on you to release the fire. So the Lord just said, just declare the fire of God on her. Thank you. And we're just going to begin just to worship the Father and let him do the work. Yes. Okay? And just declare the fire of God. I declare in the name of Jesus the fire of God.
things that have lingered on for years that has manifested themselves as infirmities. No more delay. No more hindrance. Because of unforgiveness. And he sent forth his word. They were healed by the word. Now we set your limbs on assignment now for the kingdom of God. And I speak of fresh not just anointing, but I just declare the glory of the Lord. Just close your eyes for me. I declare the glory of the Lord to just cover you now. Everyone, just worship. Feel this room of worship, please. Feel this room of worship, please. Feel this room of worship, please. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Evil 
evildoers have been plotting against you on every hand. There have been moments that you have been shadow boxing. Man, what, what is this? And the enemy wanted to convince you at times with thoughts. Well, this is your fault because remember the time that you were here and you did this, you did this. But the Lord says, not so. Evil doers. And even those who speak negative words, that's evil doing. So the Lord says, I am. He says, I am. I can't even finish the rest of the part. He said, because I want you to recognize me as I am. Yes. Because <laughs> he is the great one. So, take your focus off of the evildoers and focus on the great I am. God, open her eyes that she may see that there are more for her than against her. And the Lord says, I am. <laughs> <laughs> this is your pit stop to just let it go. Because sometimes we're on the highway and everything in us is telling us we need to pull over. Man, oh, I'm getting sleepy. So I can do it. <laughs> I got to get, get two more miles. Two more miles becomes three. Three becomes five. Five becomes ten. The Lord says, this is your pit stop so that you may rest. Let yourself go. Release yourself to be healed this day, says the Lord. See, you're releasing yourself to cry. That's therapy. Yeah. Yeah. The great Oh, I am. He says, yes, daughter, I will give you justice. I just heard that. He said, yes, Lord, because you have suffered injustice. And the Lord says, yes, daughter, I will give you justice. It has been so ordered by the king. <clears throat> because your name has been wrapped up in things that you had nothing to do with. And the justice of God comes to you today to clear your name. It has come in the form as we knew he was you. We knew you did. We knew you was involved in. God says the justice. Because some, I hear the Lord saying, false testimony has caused things to be a delay even in your life. There are things that's going to be released to you, but false testimonies have intercepted that. But the Father says, no, my justice now removes. He says, believe me again. <laughs> believe me again. There is a rest. There is a rest that comes to you this day. Hallelujah. Well, just worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Just worship the Lord. Glory to, God. Glory to God. Father, I thank you for the continual work in this place. Father, I thank you for the mighty flow of your spirit. Lord, we love you. We bless you. We thank you for your goodness. The Father says, this is not the end. This is just part one. For what I have started in here shall continue. 
He said, I will not stop pouring. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, just bless the Lord. Just bless the Lord. where we understand it's not about us. And I thank God that I am in that place in the spirit that is not about me, but it's about the work of God for God's people. I believe that God orchestrates the lives of his children, those that will yield themselves to him. And uh, I don't know if he has some business to take care of for anything, but uh, besides that, if that's the case, uh, God saw fit for you to be here today. Because I'm sure the man of God can attest to this one. But he was speaking about her as soon as she walked through the door. And as you sat down, it's like I, I, I thank God that, you know, when God starts speaking about us, we're on his mind. And I have, I listen, I own nobody. These are God's people. And my, my prayer, my prayer is that the people in this ministry will come to a place where worship is so much a part of them that they can't hear it without being affected by it to the point where they have to go in as well. And I don't care if it's, I don't care if, if, if they're in the kitchen, I don't care if they're in the, 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 the restroom, I don't care if they're in the, uh, the bedroom, the living room, when they hear worship, they don't just look. But they are so in, in, intertwined with God that when they hear true worship, that, you know, I don't mean no harm, but I ain't still you going in. I'm going to go in myself. Because if he has manifested himself to the point where I hear him in the other room, that's too close to me. For me that's, that's too close for me not to participate. Mm -hmm. And so my, my, my prayer is for every man, every woman, every boy, and every girl. It ain't about me. You ain't got to be stuck me. But my prayer is that your love for Jesus is so perfected. That when you see and you look at men and women of God begin to worship God, you start worshiping with them. I ain't got time to look at you, lady. I got to get mine in. Hallelujah. Because you know what? We're missing out on some stuff. And, and, and that's one thing that God, God, God said he was going to send people here who have been made numb to even the very name of Jesus. They can hear Jesus and it don't do nothing for them. But you know what God said? I'm sending them here because I'm breaking it. All right, come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, and, and so those of you who are blessed to be a part, you have a pastor. I don't do a whole lot of come on, y'all, come on, let's go, let's look, let's go, let's get in, let's get in. No, 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 no. The worshipers will get in. I'm talking to Jesus right now. Amen. He's the only one that can show up and change some stuff. And some of us need to be eternalized. And notice I didn't say text. Some of us need to be eternalized. We need we need an encounter with Jesus Come on. that will affect us so that we take it into the very eternal. Because the, 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 the fact of the matter is we hear about forgiveness in the room. And God has been talking. He has so confirmed stuff, man of God. Apostle Pruitt. He has so confirmed things. Because I when God, when I said yes to God, I knew who he was calling. He wasn't calling. Apostle uh, uh, Biggums, he wasn't calling Bishop Jocelyn, he wasn't calling uh, Pastor Tory, he was calling Travis. Hear me what I'm saying. And Travis has to be who Travis is. Travis, the man of God that ain't got to worry about, listen, I ain't got to worry about nobody here getting a prophetic word. Because I know that worship brings it now. Yes. 
There was teaching going on because that's what God said. There is teaching that's going on because we need to know. And we need to know that there is a participation on your part. You want it all from God, you what you willing to give him. And God said this is the time now even where the young people, the children, you can't ride on what mama doing. You can't ride on what daddy doing. You're going to have to get it yourself. Oh, God. Oh, God. What you talking about? It means you better start teaching these three and four, five, and seven-year-olds how to lift their hand and worship God. Even if you don't know what you're doing, get them hands up, baby. That's how they did it back in the day. We didn't, we didn't understand what they were doing. They said, to stand up. That's right. What I'm standing up for? I don't know what I'm going to stand up. I didn't know then. I know now. Lift your hands and close your eyes. What? It don't matter. Lift your hands and close your eyes. I didn't know then. I know now. He's awesome. He is awesome. And he wants us to know, y'all. How many of y'all know that? God wants us to know. Amen. We can't just skate by no more because that's the, that's the problem now. We've seen so much foolishness. We've seen mess. And God, listen, listen. You didn't, you didn't see that thing wasn't meant for you to see or experience for you to get bitter and shut down on God. It's for you to recognize, okay, that's foolishness. I don't want foolishness because that's fake. I want real. So I'm going to leave foolishness. You leave. You leave. You leave foolishness. And you come to real. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. 